Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall My love, if you feel like I do right now Don't say you're on the run to the other side My Up, 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 up! Come on, baby. Here we go. 
like some questions and uh, comments about my day and how I'm feeling. I've been doing that lately but not as much but this is one topic that I really want to talk about and it's why I train. Um, what the purpose of my Road to Regionals um, documentary thing is. So I started off doing this Road to Regionals because I have a goal in mind that I want to make to, I want to make it to my region. I would like to make it as an individual. So I made this because I want to document everything that I was going through and then see my progressions throughout the whole um, thing. And 
I used to do cheerleading videos and I seen I used to tape everything and video everything and just pictures and all this stuff and documents just to see where I have how far I've come and with this Road to Regionals I've seen a lot of improvements so far. I think the biggest part of this goal is to inspire people to do something for themselves that it's gonna pay off in the end and I believe that this is gonna be something that's going to pay off in the end and uh, personally for me uh, I want to glorify God in all of what I do so I give all my credit to him. You may not believe in God and you might think oh well you're the one who's putting in the work but I know that God is here and pushing me to want this and glorify him. No I'm not a perfect person and I'm not trying to be, I'm just trying to be the best that I can personally be, personally be, be able to inspire especially young girls, even guys if they watch this, um, that every, anything is possible and you have to put the work in it and you have to give those sacrifices even with in those days that you just don't want to do it and you have no motivation at all, you just have to be there because you have to be and it doesn't matter if you want to be there, you just have to be there and put in work and time into this and I've committed a lot of my life to CrossFit training and my diet, I've been changing my diet and I know it will be worth it and this is really important to me because um, in high school I was always pretty exceptional for a lot of sports. However, I wasn't the best and um, there's always a time limit where you have to say, okay, this is enough, I can't um, compete no longer because I'm aging, I'm old. I'm only like 20 right now. I just turned 20 by the way. And I think it's unfair that people have a time limit in a, a lot of other sports. And that's why I had to quit cheerleading, that's why I had to quit wrestling, and that's not fair. And with CrossFit, there's people that are well into their 60s still competing. It's just really inspiring seeing um, people at an older age being able to lift heavier weights than a lot of other people that, you know? It's crazy, and that's something I want to do. I want to be able to do this for as long as I can. So this is something that I believe that I can achieve, especially at my age right now, because I'm considered very young in my sport. I wouldn't trade this for anything else, because at my age, I'm supposed to be drinking and supposed to be partying, and that's not the case, because I have my goals that I want to achieve, and this is it, this is what I want, and there's nothing that's going to stop me. It does not matter what's going to, it doesn't matter what happens. I am so committed to this. I want this so bad. I want this for me. I want this to represent my gym because I love my gym and I love my community and they're the best supporters ever for my family because this is really, truly, this is a great sport. So yeah, hope you like today's one. Bye.